Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Cap Jack Sparrow, in the Sky Factory 2 single player Let's Play. This is my first attempt at a Let's Play series for YouTube and for hopefully a community that I'm able to grow into further videos because that would be awesome. If you like what I'm doing here, please uh, subscribe, like, spread the word, and I hope you enjoy. Here's your episode, and please don't make fun of me if I derp. Good afternoon, guys, and thanks for coming back to Sky Factory 2 with Captain Jack Sparrow. This is episode 5, I believe. I'm a little mixed up. I forgot to look and see what episode it really is. Hey, look, we got some animals. Uh, that's that's cool. That was unexpected to see. Uh, I have been busy. I've done a lot of uh, time-consuming... Wow, that's a lot of sheep. There's no chickens. Huh? But yeah, I've, I've been doing a lot of time-consuming things off-camera and some some building some things <clears throat> that I, I don't think that you guys would want to waste your time watching me do the repetitive stuff. So, uh, with that said, let's go ahead and jump right in. I will show you a lot of stuff that I've done and make it as quick as I possibly can. I've semi-automated my crucible so I can feed my smeltery. I've enlarged the smeltery, uh, two extra rows, and you can see that it uh, gets quite a bit bigger. And then I've added some other stuff, some, some ingot casts. I went ahead and made the ingot casts. I've left a couple to show you guys how to do that. Um, but I needed to jump into that so I could start getting more durable uh, weapons. Mainly because I was breaking them every time I was clearing out the, the mob farm. So I decided to get a lot of those out of the way. But we will be making another one. But yeah, we will be making a, more of the casts. So we'll do that today. Um, I've set up a, a, a fairly large slab of rock to break. I've made some iron hammers. Which are the same way, oddly enough, you would think they would be the same way. They are the same way as making uh, stone hammers and wo wooden hammers. Yeah. Uh, I've added in a couple more furnaces just so I could burn through some ores faster. Uh, what else have I done? You guys saw the aminals. That hasn't changed. It's really just been a lot of repetitive stuff. So, uh, with, with that said... I, I've gathered some ingots, I've been processing, breaking down into different tiers. What else? My, my loot's getting up there. Not nearly enough to make an AE system, let alone I don't have power yet. I need to get power. That's on the list to do. Uh, I did uh, stow away a few bags, though. I kind of didn't open them while uh, off camera, so we'll open those. What else? Yeah, so let's go ahead and kick this off. Uh, our first thing we're going to do is we're going to pulverize the heck out of this because uh, if we don't, we're going to end up with mobs on top of it. Uh, I love iron hammers. That was two full stacks of three full stacks. I think I had about 28. Yeah, three full stacks of gravel. So we'll be processing that throughout the episode and, and throughout the the off-camera time. So, go ahead and take care of this. We'll kick out some, uh, look at the name up there. Pause, unpause. I'm assuming that is truly a YouTuber. Uh, my sword has been upgraded. Uh, we'll walk through how to upgrade, uh, a sword with a, with a upgraded part instead of stone or iron, or stone or bone, or flint, for that matter. But yeah, we'll just wait for it to get to night time. Let's see, while we're waiting here, just a friendly reminder, if you guys are liking my episodes and, and, and want to see more, please subscribe, follow, like, leave comments. I 
I, I like comments. I want to hear if I'm... That was bacon donut. And I got a red loot bag. A bacon bag. Wow. Anyway, I, I, I want to hear... Um, I, I want to hear how I'm doing. I've had some time to preview some other videos. Let's leave it at that. And uh, I know there's a lot of room for competition in the in that style that uh, I can put out stuff that other people are not putting out. Um, I can make sure that my videos are unique. Uh, I don't know how entertaining they are, but we'll get to that. Uh, the more comfortable I get making these videos, obviously I... I'm not going to run a uh, an actual head cam, mainly because, well, I think it's a little distracting. So I'm, I'm going to keep it simple on, on at least this first series. I, I may in the future uh, revisit that thought process. But yeah, so let's dig into some of the stuff. Let's. Uh, I haven't completed any achievements while off camera that I know of. No, I take that back. I have. I completed one. Um, but I haven't checked it off because we're going to do it again anyway. Uh, let's see. If I remember correctly, it was replace or upgrade. Upgrade a tool with a metal part. So let's go ahead and get um, some iron. I think I only need one because we're going to upgrade. Is it one? The way that these work, these tool rods, the tool rods are pretty cool because, or not the tool rods, but the casts, the way Tinkerers handles the casts is kind of cool because you can kind of tell right off the bat what it needs with the material costs and what you can put in the cast. So yeah, obviously iron, I'm using iron. Uh, we're still really early tech, so we're going to go that direction. I've already upgraded in my sword, I've upgraded the um the blade but i want to upgrade the handle next so let's get rid of this let's put you in there i guess this whole time while we oh wait i've got oh good so we can just do that i don't have to smelt anymore okay so i'm working a little backwards here and i understand that but i want to get the achievement out of the way so let's see one of the first things I would do with your smeltery is after you get your Aluma Brass or gold, if you want to be bold enough to use gold, um, I would throw an iron ingot in there and make an ingot cast. Mainly because then, like I have five ingots now, don't have enough to make nine, which is a full block. So I can sit here and as we pass, we can make ingots. Okay, so to upgrade the tool, we have the upgraded part. We literally shift, click it into the box. Shift, click it into the box. Oh, maybe not. Uh-oh. Did I just make that tool rod and I can't do it? Let's try here. It was this simple before. Maybe you can only do the blade. Well, poo, because I don't like this sword. <laughs> okay, then I guess maybe we're going to be making a weapon. I, I don't like my sword. Um, and the main reason is there's, I have life steal. Um, that's kind of cool, but I'm not getting hit. Fiery sends Endermans launching around the, the base. Uh, they don't set stuff on fire, but they will lift dirt blocks and completely decimate my tree farm. Um, knockback doesn't mean anything. They're, the mobs are enclosed. And beheading doesn't mean anything. The mobs seem to naturally be dropping heads. I think it's part of one of the mods that Bacon has installed into this mod pack. So we're going to make a new weapon today. And you guys are going to get the benefit of seeing that. So you just saw me make an iron tool rod. I'm going to do... What do I want to do? What do I want to make? Um, let's see. We can make what I just made, the long sword. It's definitely not the best. The cleaver's the best. Let's make a cleaver. Let's make a cleaver. It's my favorite weapon. Let's just make it. Get it over with. We can smelt that tool rod back down. 
let's see. Bronze. I have five bronze ingots. I should just make this all out of iron and upgrade it later. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I know I'm probably wasting resources here. Let's take a look and see what we're going to use. We're going to need eight for that. We need eight for that. That's eight and eight is 16 plus two tough tool rods, which is six, which 22. Is that right? I can't math right now. It's still pretty early. So let's see. We need these Hope I have enough. Doo -doo -doo. I guess I should have made this one another uh, stand because then I could do two at a time. Okay, well, we're done with you. Now let's do you. Yeah, we definitely have enough. I'm not even going to try to count. Do, do, do. <clears throat> okay, now let's blade. Oh yeah, we got enough. I probably went a little overzealous with this. I don't need it nearly as much as um, I, I'm, I'm thinking. And, and before I actually make it. Let's take a look, because one of the things that we do need to make is an auto-sieve, which I have a surprise. I've prepared myself. We are ready to make an auto-sieve, so we'll be doing that today, too. Oh, yeah. Let's check. I'm, getting, I'm like ADD today. Let's check this out. It, see there. Look. Water bucket that I got from the, the output, and it gave me the bucket back. So it's hit or miss that I'm getting the bucket back. That's weird. Because now, instead of wherever my buckets are... Where, where are my buckets? Wait, what? Where are my buckets? Okay. Still looking for buckets. Where are the... Really? Where are my buckets? Did they get put over here somewhere for some reason? Okay, this is weird. You guys just saw that come out of there. Used. I don't have enough to do it again. And let's just scan over this. No, nope, I don't see any buckets. Where did my buckets go? I had three of those. Did I put them in here because I've moved them all? No. I didn't die again. And I hope they won't put them there because I think they. I don't think they would. That would be weird. What the heck? I'll stumble on him eventually. I'm probably looking at him in this chest here. I'm not. That's weird. Really weird. I'm half tempted just to punch these and get these down. That if that does it again, it's definitely an exploit. I've seen it. You guys just saw it. It's on video now. I'm going to go make sure I don't have any buckets in my inventory. See, and those didn't populate anywhere, so my buckets have disappeared. Weird. No buckets in my inventory. It did it again.
and, and now I'm back up to three buckets. Hmm. I, I don't know. Maybe I put them in here. Did I put them in here? Wait. Oh, no. I wanted to show you guys this, too. So we'll show you that, too, later. Um, so, yeah. So what were we doing? We're building a weapon. I'm going to go ahead and just build it. Uh, so let's do the cleaver. And we're going to put you two in there. We're going to put you in there and you in there. And we now have a cleaver. We are very clumsy with said cleaver, so. But, look at the damage that it does. 11 attack damage. So, that, that was a one-shot. That was a one-shot. These have natural beheading. So if I get beheading, I will be repairing this and smelting it down to garbage again. Because, um, ooh, I got a heart. Okay. That'll be used in uh, some hard canisters in the future. Let's go ahead and put this away. Okay, sorry about that. I forgot to set my timer. Uh, I'm running a timer now so I don't run over the, the half an hour mark. I will run it to 30, run the video to 35 minutes because there's going to be some that I just have to edit out, some stuff that I just edit out. So. Right now we're about 10 or 15 minutes, so I will run this to 20 minutes and, and then be done. We will cut it and move on to the next one. Okay, so um, we possibly have seen the exploit that I've been oh so wanting to show you guys. Lost three buckets, two, two buckets, one bucket. I lost one bucket because I had, no, I lost two buckets because I had them in in, uh, had one of them in the crafting table. Okay. So, where were we? Okay, so we need, I need to show you how to make Electrum. Because that's what those casts are made out of. And to make Electrum, actually, actually to make any blend, you're going to find it in the Tinker's Construct books. And right here. Sorry, not Electrum. Illumibrass. Aluma brass is three aluminum, one copper. And the way that you blend metals is we'll take uh, one copper and three aluminum. And you literally just throw it in like this. Ba boom. And then we need to come over here. And then this is where you use the stencils to actually create a cast. So I don't have, let's see, I don't have a chisel stencil. And I told you guys that we're going to use chisels this, this uh, season. So we're going to throw that in there. And this is a scrap. And we can make a chisel cast. This is where we're going to create the chisel cast. Okay. So we're going to take that and throw it in there. And see how it's inlaid in there. So when we put the molten aluma brass on it, we get a cast. Now we don't need this piece at this point in time unless you plan on making a stone chisel which you can make a metal one now so uh, don't keep it. Uh, in, 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 I mean, you can if you want I guess. I should tell you not to. But yeah so that, that's how you make uh, a luma brass and how you make a cast. And then the reason why I have the ingot cast is because I don't want to waste this so I'm going to turn it into ingots. And we'll do this as we pass. Let's see. Uh, over here, so I left off last, last episode showing you how to make the actual smeltery. Didn't show you how to make the drain, or the, the trough, faucet. There you go, the faucet. I didn't show you how to make the casting basin or the casting table. So we'll go ahead and show you how to do that right here. And you have here is the table, here is the faucet, and here is the basin. So I'm not going to create them. I have them, so I don't need to create them. The other thing that I didn't show you guys how to make is the table. The table is where? Nope. No, it's a tool station. 
it's this here and th these are blocks of aluminum or iron wait why is that is that truly really blocks of aluminum or iron I made it out of iron so I wasted a whole bunch of iron when I didn't need to and that allows you to make all of the tools and specifically the larger three items or four items the the excavator which there's no dirt in the, this world so having that's kind of useless the lumberjack or the lumber axe the mace or hammer and the cleaver so yeah that and you can repair in both of these it doesn't matter you can repair them both so that's done <clears throat> now let's go ahead and kick this out auto seat As you guys see, I'm just kind of, if, if I'm prepared, it, it goes a little quicker. The auto sieve is nice because when you set it up to actually sieve something, the cactus must be eating the cactus, cannibal cactus, whatever. I don't want me to have your cactus. So with the auto sieve, we need to find a decent place to put it. I think I'm going to try and put some of the machinery over here that I don't necessarily have to touch forcing me to go that way um, so we'll put this here uh, those slabs on me I will need to set up power this episode or next I'm running really tight on time so let's see uh, yeah I am really tight on time which means do I have enough stuff to make a generator. I'm thinking a coal generator since we have a whole ton of wood. Yeah, coal generator will power that thing. We need two iron. What else do we need? I know we need three cobble, which I have. We need a furnace. two redstone oh and a piston piston's just a basic vanilla piston so another iron redstone okay so another iron redstone and let's see if I can make the piston Alright, we now have power. Oddly enough, I didn't expect that to go that quickly this episode. Okay, so these are going to be coal fed, so we're going to have to get some uh, a couple more furnaces going. I'll do that off camera. And literally all they're going to do is, is feed all of this masses of wood into charcoal. And I, I pray, since I just made that using iron, which I'm running low on, that I can pump some some charcoal into this and it looks like it could. Okay. So if I can put charcoal in that, then what I need to do is I need power to it. And I think there's an awesome mod in this mod pack called Ender IO. But if I remember correctly, a lot of stuff is really expensive. So let's look at conduits. Because that's what they are. You got your ender conduits here, starting here, redstone conduit, conduit switches. That's your on-off switch. Uh, insulated energy conduit, enhanced, and ender. Well, we're gonna go with the red one because right now, see, I, I don't know if I can make that yet. What? what where? Why can't I see that? I can't see the recipe. No R and no right click. Okay. That doesn't do me any good. Wait, there it is. Alloy smelter. That was weird. 
yeah, see, alloy smelter. Um, let's look at that one. That takes the red ones under it, if I remember correctly. Oh, no, an ender pearl and an ender energetic alloy. That, we're not making these right now. This is too expensive. I don't have the materials, so let's see if um, uh, we can find it in a different mod. Did he take out, there's the red net, <clears throat> the red net cable, but I don't think we can power, wait, we might be able to power it with the red net cable. We don't have plastic yet, we're not powering anything with that. Um, Conduits. Wow, um, the, well, there's all the heads that we can find in the mob farm. <laughs> Bacon Dad. <laughs> Steve. Direwolf20. There you go. There's uh, Bacon Donut. Uh, there's Captain Sparkles. Uh, Craner's in here somewhere. There's Craner. Uh, I think Sunday's in here. There's Sunday. No, nope. where's Sunday? Sunday's in here somewhere. There's Sky the Kid. There's Sunday right there. Yeah, there's tons of YouTubers heads in here. But anyway, we need to find a a cable. And I think we're going to... i got to remember the mod pack name. Oh my lord, I can't believe I'm drawing a blank. It's an energy conduit of the... Not Tinker's Construct. Um, well, let's see if I can remember how to make it just offhand. Wow, I'm drawing a blank on this one. Why am I drawing a blank? This is a very common has a pulverizer and the redstone furnace. Why can't I think of the name? And I know you. anybody watching this is just yelling it at it at, at the screen. Stop yelling at your screen. You, they have pills for that. Oh. I'm drawing a massive blank. Oh, wait. I saw it. I know the energy. I'm just talking to myself now. Uh, here we go. Thermal expansion. There we go. Why am I not seeing the leadstone? Did he take those out too? It was a hardened oh wow the only way to do this through ender io I, I truly hope that that's not the case i need an alloy smelter Dear Lord. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're running up on, on about 15 minutes. So we're going to get about seven minutes left. Oh boy. Um, I'm going to have to make most of this stuff offline. At least this, the machine chassis. There's, wow, that's seven pieces of iron. 10 pieces of iron, 11 pieces of iron, oh, whoa, way more than that, 
because I need to make that, which is another six piece of iron. So that's 10, that's uh, 14 pieces of iron. Uh, okay, 14 pieces of iron. I'm gonna have to smelt to get this. I should have not made those. I should have not made that. I wonder if I can smelt that, because <laughs> that's a lot of iron. What do I have in my, I've got, oh, 16. Ooh, am I? I I might not have completely derped this all up. Okay, um, I'm trying to do some math in my head and, and failing miserably. Fifteen, we can do that. Okay, well, let's see how much I can get of this. How much of this I can get done before we hit the mark. So there's one, two, three, and the last one, four. Okay, so let's see how we're doing with this. 16, I thought I turned that phone off. As you can hear the clicking, I'm turning it off now. Sorry. Okay, so let's go back into here. Uh, uh, yeah, let's make the cauldron. One cauldron. Let's make you. I need a copper. Did I already waste my one piece of copper? I did. Yeah, I turned it into a loom of brass. Uh, copper. Copper. Ah. Wait, I didn't pick it up. I gotta pick it up. No, you can't smelt wood. You can try, you will fail. But you can't smelt wood. Actually, wait, can you smelt wood? Would it turn into charcoal? I don't know. I don't care. Uh, it's one, it's none, that, it's one, and copper. Okay, let's go back here. So you can see one of the other things that I did that I, I don't see a lot of people doing this. <clears throat> I do it for simplicity. I just, uh, over random places in my base, I'll start putting crafting stations. Like there's four there, I'm going to put a... Probably another one in front of each, so I can keep making items and showing them to you guys. But, uh, he, there's another one. That's my backup one, so I can use it, and you guys not have to see it. So, yeah. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to finish this, uh, <clears throat> this, this, uh, whatever I'm looking for. The, the words, the, the alloy smelter on this episode. We're running on, on almost 20 minutes now, so I will go ahead and and make these items and and then come back and craft the alloy smelter with you guys so i'll get all the components squared away and then in the beginning of ne next episode we'll uh we'll hammer that out but we did get we did get started really well with uh we've got an automatic sieve and we've got power all we need now is what connects the two i don't think i can just touch them i, d I don't think it works that way and even if it did, it's not supposed to work that way. Your coffee pot doesn't work if you just put it near the outlet. So I'm going to do it right, and we'll, we'll go from there. So with that said, I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.